Continuing to fill questions for U.S. Similia, I have a student from within our Telegram group asking how to go through UWorld incorrects, uh, especially since they're questions you've seen before. So uh, how should you approach UWorld incorrects? When should you do them? Okay, should you even do UWorld incorrects, all right? I'll give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. So students ask about UWorld incorrects. First, I'll start off with uh, how you should do them, okay? Like, uh, yeah, and should you do them? So look, what I want you to do is you're going to finish for steps one and two. You're going to finish all of UWorld, all right? I've made many clips talking about it. There could be a time and place for curtailing UWorld, all right? But for the majority of circumstances, if you're not being forced to sit anytime soon, you can just ride out UWorld. Ideally, I want you to get through all UWorld. I haven't addressed the incorrects yet. After you finish UWorld, I want you going into the NBME materials. So for step one, you're going to do NBMEs 20 through 24 offline. You're going to do free 120. Then you're going to do 25 through 30. For step two, after you finish all UWorld, you're going to do the clinical master's series forms, the NBME subject specific forms. There's 44 of them. Two per day is going to take you 22-ish days, okay, two, uh, three weeks. So you're going to do all UWorld, three weeks for the CMS forms, offline NBME is six through eight, free 120. You're going to do a double pass of all the CMS forms, holy shit, another three weeks. Online NBME is nine through 12. Long fucking discussion, okay? Made many clips talking about this, as I just said. So getting to the UWorld incorrects now. The utility of potentially doing UWorld incorrects, the way I uh, will will allocate this responsibility, quote unquote, for students, is if after finishing UWorld, you do your first couple offline MBMEs for step one, we'll start for, for step one, you do your uh, 20 and 21 offline, if your percentages are under 60-ish percent, okay, it's different for every student, but in general, under 60-ish percent correct, you're not passing, it's not that we can't push you through the remaining NBMEs, but what I tend to do is I will pull a student away from the NBME. As I say, you're not ready to sit the rest of the NBMEs yet. You're just, I'd rather have you go back. We're just going to postpone your exam another three weeks to a month if we can. Then we're going to go through the UWorld incorrects, not a second pass, the UWorld incorrects. Okay. So you're going to do the UWorld incorrects, boost your foundation a bit more. Now we're going to go back to the other offline of MEs 22 through 24, okay? For step two, you finish UWorld, you do all the CMS forms, as I said, then you're going to do offline NBMEs 6 through 8. But if you do NBME 6, NBME 7, and you're not scoring in the 60s, same deal. Uh, I will bring you back to the UWorld incorrects generally. And it's difficult for me to make a very consolidated clip because the circumstances differ for every student, okay? There's going to be scenarios in which uh, we can't postpone or I will just have to drive you through the rest of the NBME content. But when we talk about UWorld incorrects, that's when I might have a student do them. As far as the psychology, I think this was the other part of your question, the psychology of how to approach them since you've seen them before, it doesn't fucking matter and I don't worry about your percentages on the UWorld incorrects, okay? You're going to be surprised to find that when you go through all the UWorld incorrects, you're still not going to get top percentages necessarily. You might score in the 80s, Okay, you're still going to get plenty wrong uh, questions as if you've never seen them before. So the psychology, it's pretty secondary, pretty irrelevant in my view. We're just trying to build your foundation. Okay, we're trying to augment that foundation as remediation prior to bringing you back into the NBME exams. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.